You hear Cassidy Hooper before you see her. She clicks the sidewalk with rhythm. Cassidy lives in Charlotte but attends the Governor Moorhead School for the Blind in Raleigh Come in there. and stays there during the week. My side is the one by the window. Cassidy, can you tell, is always happy. <laughs> this 16-year-old is not only missing her eyes, she's also going through life without a nose. As unbelievable as it sounds, she doesn't let either of those things stop her. She's curious about everything and loves to learn. I am a technology guru. My computer teacher, Miss Snyder, says... Today, it's not computer class. Okay, buenas tardes, clase. Buenas tardes, señor. Rather, Spanish, too. She reads the foreign language in Braille, and she does it smiling. Want another example of her unbridled joy? Check out Cassidy happily boarding a bus with fellow classmates. They went to sing for a jam-packed homeless shelter. She says she not only performed for those listening, by the roadside, but also sang a solo to prove something to herself. In the of Maria's small How does Cassidy overcome the obstacles day in and day out? If somebody you know, says something, I just try not to let it bother me. So that's the secret to happiness? To not let people get to you? Yeah. Live your own life? Oh, yeah. Be independent? Yeah. I think that's a really good lesson. Thank you. She says that lesson's self-taught. Not all are. Her favorite theory is from the movie Soul Surfer. I don't really need it easy. I just need it possible. Listen to that again. It is not something to take lightly. I don't need easy. I just need possible. Maybe that's why her newest hobby is curling. As in that odd Olympic sport most people who see can't master. That's it, that's it, that's it. Another thing that's possible, a nose. Cassidy's multi-year process to have one surgically built onto her face is near the end. They're going to do skin flaps from here to there. Skin grafts, facial reconstruction, fixing sinus cavities. We've been with her through some of the early procedures. Yeah. When do you think you'll have the whole, the whole thing done? By the end of school year. There's only about three or four were left, and they're all going to be within a two to three week period. She's just plain awesome. And though she can't see the world in front of her, there's no way this world will ever ignore her. Maybe you noticed Cassidy now has her braces off. That was one step she had to go through before moving on with these surgeries. Also, her dad tells us she's in the process of getting, hopefully, mm -hmm. a guide dog. And if she qualifies, she could get that dog this summer. She has some big weeks coming up. Fascinating story. It's Love great. to see her progress. Gosh, she's great. And Paul, on our website right now, we have mm -hmm. two extra things. A story about Cassidy we did back in 2010 and more on her current life in Raleigh when she goes to school during the week. You go, girl. You Absolutely. Go.